This conference will now be recorded. Good morning, friends. Welcome to GoOnlineTrainings.com. So, uh, last two weeks we were talking about uh, completely uh, what is a SQL Server, what is database architecture, and what is business integrity, what is a primary key, what is a foreign key, what is a relationship, what is one to one, what is one to many, what is you know many to many, what is data modeling. All these things we discussed so far. Okay, this is the time where and we should be able to start our lab. Clear? So make sure that you have installed SQL Server software, the latest version 2019. If not, install the software by today or tomorrow. We are going to be starting the lab from today. Am I clear? So if you wanted to communicate with SQL Server, you have to know a language. The language is called as SQL language. Clear? So as we discussed already, you have a concept called RDBMS, right? So let me go there and you have a lot of uh, You know, softwares are available, right? So we have SQL Server, or you can say Oracle. One minute, let me increase the font so that you can understand. And okay, you have Oracle, Microsoft, SQL Server. Then we have Postgre SQL and MySQL. Then we are talking about a lot of other softwares. Terra data, then database 2000. This is from IBM company, right? And Netiza, this is also from IBM company. There are thousands of you know RDBMS softwares are available. These are called RDBMS softwares, or people will say RDBMS tools or apps. Okay, RDBMS applications or apps. So it is there to store the data and retrieve the data. But if you wanted to communicate, this is you, right? You're a developer, you wanted to communicate. So if you wanted to communicate differently, you should have a language. What language you need to speak here? There is a language called SQL language. I already told you, right? So I'm communicating to you in English. And I'm teaching you RDBMS concept. Am I clear? So that is very, very important. And uh, today we should be able to know or learn a language. Language is called as SQL, Structured Query Language. Structured Query Language, we must learn. Clear? So this language initially prepared by or developed by IBM company in 1970. So prior to SQL, we had a language called C language. C language is very, very complex and uh, we cannot understand very, very easily. We wanted to had, you know, we, we wanted to have a simplified language to communicate with these softwares. The language is called as SQL, Structured Query Language. I told you already, SQL and SQL Server is not the same. SQL is a language, SQL Server, SQL Server is, uh, SQL Server is what is software, clear? So that is what, you need to understand, clear? And, uh, you have a lot of you know commands that you need to know if you wanted to study sql clear so tomorrow if you wanted to store your data or if you wanted to retrieve the data what is the language that you should know the language is called as a this is you you should know a language called sql sql has some commands sql commands okay this is what we're going to be learning if you learn tomorrow Oracle, they will be teaching you SQL. If you learn SQL Server, faculty is going to teach you SQL. If you learn anything, Teradata, DB2, NetEase, any RDBMS softwares, when you, you know, learn, 
you are going to be getting sql structured query language clear so that is very very important so we are going to learn these commands from today clear so sql is a language be clear sql and sql server both of them are not equal if somebody says sql and sql server is equal then you can leave the training today because i'm telling you it is not the same clear sql is the language that we are going to be using and uh, to communicate with oracle sql server postgresql and mysql teradata db2 netiza so sql is not a software be clear sql is a language which is used to communicate to the sql softwares or rdbms softwares okay don't say that don't say that you know you're having uh, you know this kind of a things guys i think people are coming very very late durga prasad padma okay i think this is not the time so maximum five minutes you can take and come otherwise there is no point in coming you know seven you know 30 minutes late clear and there's no point okay tomorrow i will i'm going to log this so there is no point if you come 30 minutes late 40 minutes late come on time please so rdbms softwares and tools and apps and we are going to learn we are going to learn what sql language from today so this language invented by ibm guys in 1970 clear so be clear sql is a language and microsoft has used the same name sql server it does not mean that both of them are same right so if my name is bhaskar gates and bill gates do you think that any you know my any, I, I am not related to Microsoft, right? There's no relationship between, you know, Bill Gates and Bhaskar Gates. That's what you need to understand. Clear? So you never, never, you know, read them simply name and say that both of them are equal. People may ask you, do you know SQL? If you know Oracle, if you know MySQL, Teradata, DB2, NetEase, if you know any RDBMS software, that means you know SQL, right? If you know any RDBMS software means you know SQL. Clear? That's what is very, very important. Okay. So guys, from tomorrow, you have to be on time. Nitish and uh, other people. So maximum five minutes time, I'll allow. If not, I lock the meeting. I lock the meeting means you will not be able to allow into the meetings. Clear? So make sure that you come on time. So this is very very important so we are going to learn from today sql commands clear so what are the commands that we have there are four types of commands in sql the first one is called ddl commands dml commands and tcl and dcl clear so there are four types of commands we have so one is called ddl command dml command tcl command and a dcl command so these are the four commands that you should know clear so ddl means what ddl means data definition language in this we have create alter drop truncate clear so ddl means we have create alter drop truncate dml means select insert update and delete select insert update and delete so these are called data manipulation language commands and we have tcl transaction control language commands clear commit roll back save point the last one is dcl data control language where we have grant deny and revoke these are security security means permission related commands so dba people are going to be using this clear so you guys are called developer you as you are a developer developer means developer is called as a programmer you're a programmer you're going to be writing the code but so there is one more team those people have to maintain these servers the team is called as a dba team dba means what database administrators admin guys clear so dba means database administrators so those guys have to buy the you know hardware install you know operating system install software 
and the complete data of the company will be maintained by dba guys only clear you guys are called creators developers means creators we are going to be writing the software but tomorrow somebody has to you know maintain the server right whether server is on or off or you know do we have the latest softwares is there any space issue in the you know server or not so all these things will be all these things will be you know taken care by the dba team clear so these people are also you know have to learn what is called as sql clear so that is what is very very important so db means what database administrators and we are called database programmers dba team have to work 24 by 7 so they are not 9 to 5 jobs or 8 to 5 jobs clear so we are not going to deal with you know uh, you know 24 by 7 we are the programmers so we are having 8 to 5 or 8 to 6 or 9 to 6 whatever it is but dba team 24 by 7 during christmas day ramzan day so all days they need to work 24 by 7 shifts will be there because they need to take care of servers if some one server is shut down means you don't get any data clear so 24 by 7 they have to be there in the company so they have a lot of people who are going to be managing the servers so dba is also one more role but only thing is that you have to work 24 by 7 shifts clear even night morning everything and christmas day sunday holiday you don't get saturday sunday holidays for dba team dba team will get a monday tuesday any one day or two days you will be getting you know holidays but not like you know developers clear so that's what is very very important we are going to start the lab today if you wanted to start the lab so you should know these commands what are the comments i'm talking about these ddl dml tcl and dcl commands you should know so then we can simply go ahead and do this clear so now to write these commands to write these commands you should know how to open sql server right you should know how to open sql server that's very very important so to open sql server so what are the steps how do you open it so you need to install sql server 2019 software clear and by today or tomorrow because we're going to start the lab from today am i clear if you wanted to do the lab so what is important important is you should know how to open the sql server so i told you already go to start so ssms and press enter so you can go to go to start this is the place you start say ssms sql server microsoft sql server management studio 1817 some number will be there no worries about it click on this this is an application so go to start ssms means what sql server management studio clear so sql server management studio which is a software for sql server rdbms clear so remember this ssms sql server management studio that's what is very very important clear so this is very very important clear guys so now i have opened it now i need to give my machine name here so how do you get your machine name okay simply you can go to <clears throat> your windows okay you can click on the folder here you will be able to see windows 10 right so windows 7 windows 10 right click on this and go to properties sorry not here go to uh, this pc this pc right click in the properties you should be able to get your computer name and everything here clear so rename this pc 
where is this see now my machine name is a device name is gather have you seen this so i'm having intel you know i5 cpu and 4 gb of ram and 64 bit operating system and uh, clear that's what so this is the information that you should know clear what is your laptop name so simply even though you're a non-technical person you can just get it so what is your computer name how to get it so there is a folder icon click on this when you click on this when you come down you, you should be able to find out this pc right click on this and say properties clear and a device name will be your computer name you can simply copy this and go to sql server and give the same name and click on connect clear so by default you are going to be having a default instance you can give your machine name or simply you can also put what dot and click on connect clear so dot means i told you sql server default instance if you miss this class please try to you know uh, you know watch the second day video i think third day video on database architecture so what is a default instance what is a shared instance i you know i discussed please watch uh, video number two clear and this is my sql server this is how you should be able to open let me show you once again it's very simple you need to go to start right go to start and say ssms clear you can simply go to this and write ssms here and uh, press enter so ssms press enter you will be able to get this then click on this when you click on this you will be able to get sql server software clear one more window will get opened you need to go to that window server name you can give your computer name so to find out the computer name i told you go to this icon and open this now i told you right click on this go to properties now your computer name is available so this is what you should be able to you know give it there otherwise you can also give a dot dot means local sql server click on connect am i clear this is how you can open and so first one after opening this okay first one i am opening this so i wanted to create i wanted to create what database clear if you wanted to store the data the first step you should know how to create a database how to create a database that is what you should know it clear so you can give either pc name right so these things already discussed you can give the pc name or you can give dot means it is going to be connecting to local default instance billing so please watch if you don't remember because this we discussed already right yeah dot means what local sql server default instance right so refer to the notes please yeah so this are so you will have a lot of databases here you don't get these many databases by default don't ask me sir i don't have this database this database because by default you don't have any database you have to create a database clear when you expand it when you expand it so you will be able to see like this you need to simply click on expand button clear click on this button so that you will get a lot of things by default you don't get all these things no worries about it if you wanted to create a new database so the next step is create a new database so how do you create new database it's very very simple you should go there right click on databases and new database it's very very simple to create new database so give the database name is called company right so you have to give the name of the database click on okay now as we know when you create a database when you create a database it will create two files one is called a dot mdf file dot ldf file 
you must watch second and third video if you don't remember and don't ask me what is mdf now okay because already i have discussed and uh, when we create a company database it's going to be creating two files what are those files one is called when you create a database it will create two two files one is called dot mdf file this is what is called data file and one more file gets created so this is what is called log file i told you right when you burn you will have one heart two kidneys one liver one lung a lot of things by default you will be having right so like that when you create a database it will have some things what is this dot mdf file dot ldf file so this is where your data of the tables is going to go so this is a simply a log log means if something is going on the details of the you know you know things will get recorded in this clear i told you also it is just like a cc camera in your organization so in, in your cc camera so whatever you do in the company whatever you do in the company all things will get recorded in your cc camera right so it is a log if something goes wrong people are going to be using a log otherwise no right but when you create a database what you do after creating a database you create a table and you store data in it when you store the data all the data will get stored into this file only you watch video number two and video number three or refer your notes the topic name is called database architecture clear and uh, you watch you will come to know what is mdf and what is ldf tables you know and you store the data so i have created this and if you wanted to see those you know files right click on the company go to properties now as i told you all these files are available here you can expand the screen i told you one is called dot mdf file dot ldf file so this is the space where the this is the location where dot mdf file is there and this is the place where dot log file will be there you can simply copy control c go to start button and you should be able to copy and paste it here click on continue so this is where you have a lot of databases right for each and every database there is a mdf file and there is a ldf file so those files are available here go to start click on run say say run and press enter so you control c control v copy and paste so when you go the here and paste it so this one is going to be copied which one is copied so this part is going to be getting copied to this small run application click on ok which is going to open your this location clear so that is what is very very important so you will be able to see the mdf files data file mdf file so just now we have created data file and log file clear so end of the day as we discussed the data of the database or the table will be stored in a file the file is called master data file and there is a transaction log file will be there uh, for database at least one file has to be there one transaction log file has to be there clear so this is what you should know now later if you wanted to drop this or delete this database right click and you can say delete it so creating a database and deleting a database is very very easy and you can just refresh like this clear you can collapse you can collapse you can expand clear and you can expand by default you don't have all these databases you need to create them one by one these databases are called as user defined databases clear so this is how we are going to be creating a database so creating a database is a ddl command clear creating or we can say deleting or dropping the database and we have altering it altering means modifying okay so and one more command is called truncate so these are called ddl commands so we know how to create a database clear now we know how to drop a database data definition means you need to create an object clear so what did we create 
we have created a database and we also deleted or drop the database clear so now we go you can create again if you want to create and i told you so we are going to be creating databases first so there are two types of databases that you need to understand two types of databases clear one is called system system database the second one is called user defined database that means so some databases are called system databases and some databases called i have you know my own databases for example so there is a system defined database system database when you open it master model msdb temp db these are called you know or what are called these are called what are they master model msdb and temp db clear so these four databases are called as master databases these are there when you install the software clear so these will not be there that you need to create how to create these databases now right click on database a new database i wanted to create one more database called school database click on connect or i would like to create a database called college okay you can have a database called college this is what is your you know own database clear so you must create the database and create the tables no tables will be there by default you must create the tables and put the data store the data whenever you need it you can get the data clear so as i told you so rdbms is there to store the data and if you don't need this let me right click and delete this that is how you are going to be using this deleting and creating am i clear but so i told you so there are two types of databases so total databases system databases plus user defined put together we can have 32767 databases per instance or per server okay per instance instance means per setup so in a single setup you can have these many databases so four system databases master model msdb temp db these are by default you will have okay so these databases given by microsoft don't touch this database don't try to play with these databases okay mass database is heart of the database when you go it is the heart if your heart is gone so you're dead right so heart and the brain is very very important parts of your body if heart is heart is gone mm -hmm. or if you know brain is gone then definitely you're gone right so master is heart of the sql server if you drop this database so right click and there's no drop command but if you try to you know if you try to delete this or try to you know modify this database means you're gone okay you're gone you cannot do anything now you cannot do anything now so it is very very important that you should not play with the mass database at all clear so who's going to be using it is being used by the comp you know sql server itself so you don't repair your brain right you need to have a good doctor who can repair your you know brain if there is a problem in your brain so you should not you know as a developer you don't know what is this right so you, you never never play with this master database which is the brain of sql server so people would ask you if something goes wrong to the master database what happens complete sql server is down that's it if there is a problem to your brain what will happen can you work no you're dead right even though you're alive all body parts are there you will be declared as a brain dead so that means there is no use at all clear if you do any if you play with this database that means even the sql server is there it is not going to work at all so remember so mass database is completely heart of the sql server never ever play with this database never ever try to do something with this database it's very very important database
clear so if something goes wrong to this mass database what happens people may ask you this question what happens if something goes wrong in the mass database what happens if mass database is deleted db is deleted okay so what happens if this is deleted so sql server will not will not start very simple clear sql server will be will be down and it will not start it is gone yeah my clear it's very very important that you should know what happens if mass db is deleted sql server will not start at all clear so what is a master database it is going to be having complete configuration details so what is the what is that your brain is going to be carrying do you know that but you should know it is you know capturing what is the body temperature it should maintain what is the heartbeat you need to have what is the pressure on which the blood has to go right so everything has to be monitored by the brain only what is the you know, insulin level it has to produce right so lot of things it's going to be you know taking care lot of configurations right lot of body temperatures your name lot of things it's going to be having so if something goes wrong to mass database completely you're gone sql server is gone clear mass database is going to be having all configuration information clear sql server name what is the sql server name configuration settings and all other you know db information also is going to be taking care <clears throat> for example so what is this what is this and complete information about other databases also will get get stored in the master database master is a brain it knows what are the other databases it is containing that information also this is going to store and all your pass user ids and passwords clear user and the passwords are going to be there tomorrow you, we are going to create a lot of security logins clear not everybody can get into sql server there are some permission going to be given so all user ids and passwords are going to be captured so when you're talking about security when you say my user id is bhaskar jogi my password is something else where is that information stored in this database only clear so that is what is called very very important database what happens if mass db is deleted accidentally sql server will not start never and never play with the mass database it's very very important database the next one is called model database clear so model we can discuss later even msdb also will discuss the we will discuss later let us talk about temp db database temp db as the name suggests temp means it is not permanent which is temporary so sometimes you know when you go for a mathematics examination you wanted to have extra sheets to do the rough work right so when you're doing mathematics examination you wanted to have a lot of rough work right so lot of extra main calculations to be done so that will be done in the extra rough work after the examination you tear them off you don't need those extra sheets at all so that extra you know temporary sheets or temporary tables will get created in the tempdb database which is a global resource global means all the people who are connected to the server can use tempdb space and which is a rough you know a tempered space means you can keep them some calculations if you wanted to sort the data do some extra calculations that can be done in this database so as soon as you come out of the server the tables and everything will get it dropped permanently clear so this is what is called a temp db model database is a templated database okay so template database this we can use when you create a new database this is going to be used so we'll discuss them later not now okay so whenever you create a new database so this is going to be used clear so we'll discuss them later msdb temp db you can create a lot of jobs and alerts what is the meaning of this if there is a failure if there is a failure so immediately i should get an alert so what what kind of an alert we can set we can set 
uh, SMS alert, email alert. So saying that there is no space in the server. You know, the server is not running properly. All the server health issues and everything automatically will get a triggered to DBA team. So 24 by 7, that team will be there. So they will be getting some kind of, a, you know, you know, uh, automatic algorithm, uh, automatic alerts from the server itself saying that there is no space in the drive. So automatically these people will add a new drive or new hard disk clear and automatically jobs also can be created. For example, I wanted to take the complete backup of a database clear. So this is a job. So this kind of information will get stored in MSDB database and the backup. So for example, every day you get the new data. If something goes wrong tomorrow, what happens to the, this data? So we need to have a database backup clear. So when you say right click and you say tasks and you should be able to backup. If we have a backup, you should be able to restore them, right? So, so tomorrow I wanted to, you know, take this database backup that manually you need not take it. So automatically using MSDB, it automatically takes all these database backups and push them into one more remote location. For example, there is an earthquake in India. My server is gone. It does not mean that my data is gone because I have taken the laptop. I have taken the backup. So backup will be taken every five minutes, every one hour. It depends upon the schedules that will, that, that will follow. Clear? So you think that every one hour you have a backup. So for example, nine o'clock, you have taken the backup. 9.30, the server is crashed. So what happens? Maximum 30 minutes data, you lose it. But till nine o'clock data, you have it in remote server. Clear? So like that, so all these database backups are taken with the help of MSDB only. TempDB is just like a rough area. Clear? So system databases are very, very important. You should know what are these databases. And after, apart from that, whatever be the database that you have created, I'm talking about adventure works, okay? Given by Microsoft for learning purpose. And you have adventure works, then a lot of other databases. You can see iBank database. We can see college database that whatever we have created, these are called user defined database, a library, iBank, hotel, go online, Amazon. So these are the user defined databases put together. So put together these four plus and remaining is 32,763. So we can have totally 767, 32,767 databases we can have. Yeah, am I clear? So how to create a database is very, very simple. You simply right click on this and say new database. Never ever give a different name. For example, college info. You don't give the space like this. You don't give the space in between. It will get created but make sure that you use underscore or without spaces we can create a database name clear college info you can go and refresh so it will be in the proper order so you can create but if you wanted to drop it click on this and delete it right click on this and delete it yeah my clear so how to create and how to drop we discussed create and drop we discussed so this is what is called ddl command but we must write a command this is not the way right click and creating a new database is not right the one we must write a command to do that you need to click on new query so this is the window you need to click on it button you need to click on it so so this is the way you are going to be writing what commands all the SQL commands you're going to be writing. Clear? So SQL commands you're going to be writing. So this is what is called, you know, comment. Okay? So we should know what is a comment. Comment means, comment means, even though you click on execute button, this code will not get executed. If you remove these two dot, two lines, and you, you know, execute this, it will give you an error clear so when you put a two hyphens so what is the meaning this is a single line comment what is the meaning of this even though you try to execute this line this line will get will not get executed clear 
so this is what is called comment so double hyphen so i wanted to have multiple lines comment so multiple lines comment instead of writing like this i need to use two hyphens here two hyphens here two hyphens here so instead of writing two hyphens here you can use like this okay you can use and you can put like this so whatever be the lines that you're getting getting you know writing in between so these lines will get commented even though you try to select and click on execute button nothing will happen clear so this is what is called multiple line so somebody put some design like this some designs they'll add okay some designs they will add they will write some comments here so this code will not get executed at all and this is a double hyphen is a single line comment clear and it is what is called multiple line comments so if you wanted to write some commands sql commands first we need to deal with the what command so i'm talking about ddl commands okay the first command i'm talking about is create database command okay command will say syntax syntax means the you know how to write the code create database syntax or you can say command so the syntax is like this create database then you have to provide database name so db name have to be given and say go so this is how syntactically if using a command you should be able to create a database now one thing is that with the user interface ui right click on this new database but this is not the way a developer can create a database you need to write a commands code so this is the code called syntax clear so create a database database name if you wanted to drop a database so the second command i wanted to show you i wanted to drop a database so you need to say drop database database name and go go is not compulsory even though you don't write it no worry but let me keep the go there okay if you wanted to if you mod wanted to modify so that we can say modify a database i will say here alter alter database database name whatever you wanted to alter the code you need to write and say go so this is the next command clear so these three commands of create alter drop okay so after dropping it you cannot alter it so create if you wanted to you know modify it you can modify it if you don't need at all you can drop that clear guys so this is what you should be able to do it let me create nice you know database now so if you wanted to create so create a database name let me give the database name is called company okay so execute only this command execute now executed now you go and refresh now we can see a company database is created have you seen this now you wanted to drop this database now you remove the database name you can write control c and control v we can execute this executed now you go and refresh the company database is gone you create execute this and you go and refresh company database is there there is a structure have you seen this now i wanted to drop this you can execute this line and refresh the company database is gone clear so whatever you wanted to do it so you should be able to do it so there is no issue at all clear guys so the company database is gone so creating and dropping is very very simple alter command we can see them later so i don't want to drop as well i wanted to only create clear so i don't need all these things let me remove so let me start with the ddl commands i'm going to be using sql command so ddl command create database let me create this create it go there and refresh it 
So you should be able to get a company. So within this, I wanted to create a table. So I say use company. So, so this is the command you need to run. So what is the thing you have created, but in this only I wanted to, you know, have something, right? So by default, you're pointing to mass database. Now let me execute this command. When you execute it, you're pointing to company database. Clear? So you have a lot of people. I wanted to fire one object. What I do? I take a gun. I take a gun. I point it to that, you know, fellow and I'll trigger. I'll start, you know, triggering the bullets, right? So you create a database. After that, you point to this. How do you point? You say use company. Uh, say use anything else. Use uh, iBank. If I say use iBank, so I am pointing to iBank database. Let me click and execute this. You're pointing to iBank database. Clear? Remember this. So when you create a database, now the next one is change or point change the database context so in which you wanted to create the tables i would like to say use a company so execute this now you're pointing to company so that means you have a lot many databases but what databases you wanted to point to i wanted to point to company database i don't have any tables now i want to create a table so First command is this, second command is this. Clear? So you will be pointing to this. If you don't want to write a command means, simply you can just go and use your database. That is also fine. But I don't want to use like this. Simply I can write and go to my database like this. Clear? So after that, I want to create what a table. Create a table syntax. How can we create a table? It's very, very important. The syntax is create. Sir, I'm sorry, I lost you on the change the, uh, the database context. You watch this video once again. So this is what you need to you know, execute. When you execute it, you are pointing to your own database. Clear? Is it, it's after you create, right? It's yeah. like modifying. It is not like modifying. I told you. I wanted to use this database and put the tables into the database. For example, you have, you know, 10 boxes, right? You have created 10 boxes and one of the box you wanted to place the cake. So how do you say, how do you tell your kid? So go to that data, that box and place the you know cake there. So I'm saying use this database and place the tables there. Clear? Mm -hmm. okay. Did you understand or not? A little, not very much. Yeah. Lot of many databases are available, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how do you tell SQL Server that you are going to use this database because you have a lot of databases, right? Oh, so I how see, do you yeah. refer this database? So you okay. say use company. That means you are telling SQL Server, hey SQL Server, you go to company database now and whatever be the command I'm going to execute later, it will get executed in this company database. Clear? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that Thank is the you. meaning of use company means what? You're going to be using this database. You're not going to touch this. You're not going to touch this. You're going to touch this. And inside this database, what is that you do? You create tables. So create a table syntax. You should know how to create that. Okay. So the syntax is very, very simple. Create a table, table name. Okay, create table table name and open the bracket, close the bracket. You need to write column name. Okay, and data type. If it is a primary key, you have to mention which is the primary key. If it is identity, identity means automatic column means you need to provide seed and increment. Clear and put comma. So column name data type is very very important then column name data type if you wanted to mention it is a null column mention like this if it is a not null column you can mention like this clear and if it is a in null column you can also have a default values okay default what is the value you wanted to give you can give 
and a lot of things. If it is a nautical column, you can mention nautical urnal, and you can give a check constraint, and we can write a salary greater than zero, something like this. Clear? If you wanted to create a foreign key, so column name, data type null, say foreign key. Foreign key. This is the syntax. Okay. Don't worry, don't worry about syntax. References, foreign key references, primary key table name, and primary key column name. Okay. So this is how you got to create. This is how you need to create what is called as a, a table. Clear? Column name, data type. Column name, data type. What is the primary key we discussed? What is identity we discussed? What is null we discussed? What is not null we discussed? What is a default we discussed? What is a check constraint we discussed? And we discussed one to one, one to many, how to create a primary key and foreign keys. Diagrammatically we seen, but programmatically, this is the programmatic way of creating a, establishing a relationship to the primary key table to foreign key table. So this is the syntax clear and say go this is the syntax you can use to create your table am i clear now i'll give you one example create table table name let me have a department table open the bracket close the bracket say go department table let us say department id which is integer, so which is a primary key. Primary space key. If you say without space, it will it will be wrong. Primary space key, and at the end you should put comma. See, I'm putting commas everywhere. Many people will ask me, sir, it is not working for me. So they would have given like this, or they would have removed this. It is not going to work. Clear? So department ID. Then we'll say department name. Don't give any spaces. If you give space, then your you know code is gone. Remember not to give any spaces like this. Okay. So where in the column name? In the primary key, there is a space. Where you need to give the space, where you should not give space. Be clear. Column names must not contain spaces. This is where care. And what is a where care we discussed? If not, you have to go to data types section and listen to that video once again where care 100 that means the name department name cannot be more than 100 characters which is a not space null that's it so this is the last one i need not put comma so create but where it will get created it will get created in the company database clear now you execute your table is ready now you can just go there so you go and refresh now you go to company database you can see a table the table is called a department table now you can see two columns department id is primary key means no duplicates are allowed department name is where care 100 so you should be able to see two columns there so programmatically how do you see see the table you can say select star from the table name clear so see the table means you should be able to write this command and try to execute so this is how you can see the table but there is no data in it clear guys and if you wanted to see if you wanted to put the data we'll say insert the data where in a table so what is the command the command is very very simple the syntax you should know first insert into table name and values you, you need to supply value one comma value two dot 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 if you have thousands of columns all the values you need to supply clear this is a syntax now let me write a proper table name is what Department is a table name, right? So you say department. What is the first value? First value is department ID. Say 10. Department ID 
is sales department so where care data n care data n where care data any care where care data must be in single quotes double quotes will not work number data currency data must not be in quotes remember this okay so this is how you can execute now you can read the data you are able to store one row have you seen this now this is the command this is the command now you should be able to copy this and paste it the next one you can have is 20 say purchase department so execute only this command now you see the data so this is the command now one more row got inserted you should be able to create a table you should be able to create the database now use company now later you are going to be creating a table clear after creating a table you see the data so this is the command now this is the command to insert the data we'll stop the class and we'll see tomorrow we had seen a select star this is a dml command in setting we had seen tomorrow we'll see update and delete clear how to create a database how to create a table create means that is a ddl command so create a database and after that we create a table so this is also a ddl command and the creating database it is also a ddl command whatever <clears throat> whatever you're creating that is ddl commands so reading the data so this is a dml command data manipulation and inserting is called called as dml command we see a lot of comments that we're going to be seeing you can switch off you can switch it on clear like this and if you close this by mistake you can go to view menu object explorer you should be able to get this you can just collapse it collapse it collapse it collapse it expand it expand it and you can refresh by clicking on this and you can go to your database you can see the tables <clears throat> right if you wanted to see the data you can say right click on this say select top thousand rows you can see the data like this as well now you can see the data the same command will get executed this is a dml command clear you can close this window if you wanted to see the data right click on this select instead of right you know the command so you should be able to click on this clear if you are pointing to some other database for example you are pointing to this now you go and you execute it will say invalid object name department so you need to point you need to check and which database you are pointing to clear and you should be able to point to which database so your own database that is company point to that and execute this clear guys so these are the commands we had seen and this file is a you know code this is the code you have written so you wanted to you wanted to save this file clear click on the save button so you can say my practice okay my practice or you can say company sql script okay so wherever you wanted to store this you can store go to c drive okay you can create a folder you can say sql practice you can say sql practice and we can create something and company sql script you can save them there clear so it is got saved you can close and if you want to get that file tomorrow you can go to file you say recent files so this is the file it will be opening it okay we can close this you can go to c drive so go to which drive c drive this is the sql right so double click on this you can open this when you double click on this now it will say always use this app yes this is a sql file you can double click on this this file will get opened clear always you come and execute this and you're pointing to company clear so this is the code i have written today now tomorrow also i can continue further in this line you can close this 
we can close the SQL server as well. So these are the things that we discussed today. Okay, so a lot of things we'll discuss and we do the lab today and tomorrow guys. If you have any questions, you're welcome.